All right, so another year, another brake job on uh, this 2013 Legend Contractors trailer. And it gets used a lot, a lot of kilometers get put on it up here in the north, and these brakes are not sealed in any way, so they don't last too long. It would probably be a good idea in retrospect to open these up, clean them, and then maybe grease a few of the little parts in here. Uh, you can see there's a lot of pad left, but the armature doesn't move. The magnet doesn't engage anymore. It's, it floats on a spring and grabs the, the drum as the drum's turning. Pulls this armature, turns the square nut, and it spreads apart these uh, these pads. And that's essentially how it works. This armature will pull front or back, depending whether you're in reverse or drive. But none of that works anymore. So that's only a year old, and that is finished. Um, so basically, we got some Dexter uh, loaded um, brakes in here. We redid the bearings, the seals, the races. Um, the bearing kit we picked up here, uh, part number UTRWBK3563. Um, the manual, these, these uh, axles are ALKO, ALCO, I don't know, that's the manual. Uh, 10 inch by 2 and a quarter. Basically covers the hub assembly and the brake assembly. So, um, one thing to note, these axles, the 2013 trailer, it's 2017 now, these axles are no longer being produced. You can't even get parts for them. Um, it was a little bit of a problem with the center plastic grommet here. I accidentally pulled one of the wires through. So that wire runs all the way across the trailer. Um, all the power gets fed on the driver's side. Two wires go into those brakes. One comes across uh, in either axle. In my case, I've got four-wheel brakes. Um, so I accidentally pulled one through this little hole and into the axle, and that was a bit of a nightmare. You have to carefully get in here with a, a screwdriver, a little pry bar, and just carefully pull this, uh, maybe a two-inch deep uh, grommet. It has plastic fins on it to hold it in. They break as you pull it out, um, and you cannot get this part. So try not to pull that wire through if you, if you don't have to. Uh, basically, uh, we also needed to pick up these parts here, 16 washers, 16 Stover lock nut bolts, 7 16 Those, uh, I'm going to have to turn my camera to get in here, but back of this assembly here, there's four, four of these Stovers. They're a bit of a pain to get off after a year if they get rusty. Um, and this one especially is right behind the, uh, the torsion, um, so you can't get a socket on it. You've got to use a, uh, just a wrench in there to get that one off. Um, I did have a couple break. I had to punch them through, and uh, luckily these studs come uh, with the new plate, uh, loaded plate, so that's not a big deal. Um, and then I went and got new Stover bolts. I didn't want to reuse the old ones because they are a lock nut, and uh, I don't know how many times you can reuse them, so I'll just put new ones on. Um, unfortunately, uh, remember for next year when you do your brakes again, uh, these Dexters are uh, not self-adjusting. You've got to get in behind with a screwdriver and adjust these yourself and the adjusters of course are just right in right in these these little spaces right here you'll see there's an adjuster in there and you can set little teeth on them and adjust the brakes and you get them to where they're they're just engaging basically that covers that Uh, when it comes to the electrical, I just basically, the first year I had the brakes done, I had them done at my local shop. I basically just did exactly what they did. They were using these splice connectors. Um, there's a special uh, set of pliers that will crimp these, and they seem to work pretty good. Um, the one side of the trailer, like I say, has two wires coming into it, um, so you need bigger uh, connectors on that side. Um, passenger side of the trailer, there's just one wire, as you can see, coming to each brake. So, um, you can get away with the smaller ones on that one. Uh, same thing with the shrink tube, you're going to want to get uh, one slightly larger for the one side of the trailer and then these .225 I got for, for this side of the trailer. And then of course some uh, dielectric grease. Uh, the castle nut is a on this model is a 38 millimeter it gets tightened up to 20 pounds and then backed off to 10 um, 
and you're supposed to do that as you turn the hub. You're supposed to keep this turning as you're tightening that. And that's basically it. And for today, uh, got to replace the uh, the battery's not working anymore, so we're going to change that out today. And we've got an issue with our breakaway. It's not engaging. Everything's rusty in there, so we're going to put a new one of those in today too. So trip to Princess Auto.